Hello and welcome back to Boo Polo Channel. My name is Pascal. Today I'm going to do another review of an Anka uh, digital video recorder or DVR. Uh, I done one be this one here before I bought myself. So Anka sent me out this one to uh, to review for you and take you through the menus and all that. This one is different in the sense that this has no hard drive in it. This is solid state. So by being solid state, it has many advantages which I'll tell you in one moment. Uh, first and foremost it is m much much smaller and uh, I will just take it out of the box it comes with full user manual. This is how big it is. Now so you look I can put my hand around it like this. Here is my original one that I'm using downstairs. I'm after unplugging it there just to bring it up for you. It's been reliable. It's got a hard disk in it. But they're both the same, except the new one is better. It comes with 24 hour sticker. It comes with a LAN uh, ca uh, cable for plugging into your router. It comes with a mouse. It comes with a power supply and it comes with a HDMI cable. Besides the size, Solid state is generally much more reliable and solid state uses much less electricity and it runs much cooler also. So you have this big box here with a hard drive spinning all the time and this one is solid state and there is nothing moving inside in it. So I am going to give you a measurement without the parts sticking out. It is 110 millimeters, 170 this way. And in the height of the width of, or the thickness of it, including the, the nipple on the bottom, it's less than two inches. It, it weighs 500 grams. Now, for those that want that in ounces, it's 17.7. It is less than 18 ounces in weight, so it weighs virtually nothing. And if I put this one up, you will see that it weighs 45.23. The keyholes here that you can fit it to the wall so you can put your screw in and then push it in and pull it down if you want it stuck to the wall and then it takes up even less space. It's got the normal 8 BNC, it's got your HDMI, it's got your VGA out, it's got two USBs, power supply and this is where you connect it to the, the, to the router, this is the LAN connection here. And, and, and that is it and of course the mouse plugs into it. I've moved around here so I can see what I'm actually doing when, when I'm uh, uh, explaining it to you. I'm going to connect some cameras in a moment but I'm going to take you through some of the menus first. I'm going to connect the PTC uh, camera on it. Uh, I'm going to try anyway and uh, I'm going to see if we are going to be able to uh, control it. So what we'll do first is I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to plug the HDMI from this monitor in here. I probably have to uh, adjust the monitor in a moment. This is a very uh, inexpensive uh, monitor. Uh, so I'll just plug this one in here and we will plug the power supply here. I know the first thing you have to do with these things is you have to make a password. Just say English, yeah. Uh, English, apply. Uh, resolution, set the resolution at 1890, uh, 1080 to achieve better effect. I'll go back onto that again. Maybe there is a problem with this screen, but that's the correct one. Username, uh, uh, you can make your password here. And uh, I just, you have to make a password. It won't allow you to do anything without a password. So put in your password, it'll tell you if it's strong or not. And it says I'm strong. Make sure they're both the same. You can ask a security question, uh, anchor vision or email. So you can put your email in there. The reason you put your uh, email address in here or your contact is that if, if you forget your password, the only way you'll get it back. So I use email. Like something like that or like that, you know. And then it says you draw it again. Uh, I don't advise these, I think these are not so good. So now you set up your time zones, uh, that means it'll update it when it's plugged into your LAN, okay? So, and then we will do all this later. Uh, we will do the internet later, we will do it automatically. Now, I'm going to go into some of your uh, menus now. So I'm going to click exit here. 
Uh, that means it'll update it when it's plugged into your LAN, okay? So, and then we will do all this later. Uh, we will do the internet later. We will do it automatically. Now, I'm going to go into some of your uh, menus now. So I'm going to click exit here. And we have our camera set up here. But you right click here and you can decide what way you want this one. Mm. Camera playback. So what we'll do is I'm going to go back to camera first by clicking this one up here. So this is your normal screen that you will have during the daytime uh, while you are, while you are, uh, when you are using your camera. You will have it like this. Uh, you can make that full screen then if you want to. You can download uh, some stuff from here onto your, onto your uh, USB with this button. You can pick out some footage. Uh, so we, this is the playback button. Now, I have nothing to play back at the moment, but this is your timeline along here. And it goes from uh, zero hours to 24 hours. So it'll be uh, on the 24 hour clock and you can go on forward uh, 10 seconds or 10 frame. Mm. You can go back 30, you can go forward 30. You can use this at one speed. 2 speed, 3 speed, or 8 speed, I think 16 speed as well, for flicking through it. We'll go, just go back to the settings here and we will, uh, we will see the, the recording uh, continuous events, uh, recording period. So the, the normal, the local drive is uh, coming in, uh, it's 960 gigabytes, but the free space that's on it is 879. We all know that that we can, uh, you can click on this and you can format it. Now, I would recommend you format it. So I'm going to format it now it's because even though it's new, I'm still formatted, formatting 20% there. And that, that took nearly no time to do at all. It has the resolution here. Uh, I'm going to change that resolution to 1080 like that and apply. And now we have the full screen. So it's filling the full screen. So if you want to get back to the other one, your menus here, all we have to do is uh, 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 right click anywhere on the screen. What we're going to do now is I am going to plug a camera in. And then I'm going to put the camera outside and I'm going to put it in the garden and I'm going to see can we control it. So I have set the camera up on the wall outside here. I have another camera there, but I'm after setting up this uh, PTZ one and uh, I have it set up here, the PTC and the camera. You just right click on the screen. I've made it full screen. Uh, this is my pool area. You can't see my pool. It's actually behind uh, the tent there. And uh, this is the, our kiddies pool and this is our, our little uh, overhanging the sea. Uh, so, uh, no, I will just show you how the scope of a little tap. So I can, this is where we grow most of our vegetables. Uh, you, most of, that's the balcony on the mezzanine floor. And uh, this is up on, this is below the first floor. So this is on, uh, just above the top floor. I think I will put it up higher. Uh, so it can go down then as well. Uh, sometimes we eat there, but mostly we eat behind the bush here where there's a table and you can't see the table. So <laughs> there's a table behind this bush, uh, a wooden table. And uh, so, uh, yeah, it's going in against the wall. And there's another camera here. You can come around here and you can see the other camera here on the wall. Uh, there, can you see it on the top? We'll go up there. And we just tie that up out of the way, temporary. It's low tide at the moment outside. So, uh, yeah, you can go down and up. It's very responsive. So, that's my review of the Solid State Anka uh, DVR digital video recorder. Uh, lightweight, economical. It's well able to, it'll control eight of our cameras. I'm going to use this one instead because it's more economical. No hard drive to be going. Uh, I would presume more reliable and uh, faster, of course, as well. So that's the Anka Solid Stage. I'll put a link down in the description where you can buy it. Uh, if you like this video or any of our other videos, uh, please subscribe.